Fred was a Japanese American, born and raised in California, um, and he was very much your average young American. He had a girlfriend. He had just got a convertible. He was working as a welder. Um, he had no political background, no sort of lofty constitutional ideals necessarily. So when the government asked him or told him that he must report to essentially an internment camp or a concentration camp, he just intrinsically knew it was wrong. He felt it in his bones and he didn't see why he should have to comply to this. This did not jive with the America that he had been brought up to believe that he was living in. And one of the things I tried to show in the film was the irony, if you will, of Fred being incarcerated for his actions by one president um, and 40 years later being given a Presidential Medal of Freedom Award by another president for the very same action. I think that says volumes about the growth of America, um, the changes in America, the changes in the face of America.